add structure to your life and starve your distractions. Bad distractions are far more present. Um, you know, just the world that we live in. There's a million different things that can occupy uh, our time that take us away from the things that we need to get done doing. So I think the first is looking at the distraction in and of itself and being able to name it, <clears throat> whether it is a good or bad distraction will ultimately affect how you handle it. I've freed up so much more time because I've began in my mind to just absolutely disrespect wasted time. And so, much, so many of us are wasting hours a day. It's not hours at a time, but it's five minutes, seven minutes, 15 minutes here, scrolling aimlessly through Instagram. What is required when you're adding stuff is that you eliminate the distractions. And what I have found through this process is when, you know, there's no contingency plan, when failure is not an option in, in the addition of these activities, that you become grossly aware of those little pockets of time where you're just wasting precious minutes. With bad distractions, you know, that's just something that you're gonna have to become increasingly aware of and try to lessen the amount of time it takes for you to realize, crap, I'm being distracted, or crap, this has gotten me off task, and to get back on track. It's important for people to realize that it's human and that it's completely normal to get distracted, that you're never going to get to a point in your life where you have zero distractions. It's not possible. It becomes how quickly can you become aware that you're being distracted or that you're not focused and then how quickly can you adjust and get back on track. And you know, that just takes conscious effort. It takes someone like I just did making you aware of this fact. And then once you become aware of it, then being more present in the moment to know like, am I doing what I was supposed to be doing or have I allowed myself to get distracted? And the quicker you can realize it and the quicker you can get back on track, the less, you know, the distractions are going to ultimately affect what you're doing. There's this feeling of, of being productive that's so, uh, it feels so good when you're in a slump. When you can leave the, at the end of the day and know that, man, I got a bunch of stuff done today. I did a bunch of stuff. I was super busy. It can feel good, but you have to understand that that is a false feeling. That is a false sense of accomplishment because you can do a whole bunch of work around the office. You can move some papers over here and we'll move this over there. And you can feel like, man, today was busy. I got a lot done, but did you accomplish anything? Did you actually close any sales? Did you get anywhere down the uh, road with a potential customer? And so when you add structure to your life, when you start time block blocking your day, it will enable you to starve your distractions. This goes back to the very basics of you know time blocking and setting certain times where you're doing certain things to where you know, okay, from nine to 11, I make phone calls you should be very aware of the fact if you're not making a phone call, you're probably being distracted. And so if you know what you're supposed to be doing at all times, then you're more easily and readily available to realize that, hey, I'm not doing that thing that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm being distracted. Let me get back to the thing I was supposed to be doing. I think so many people are just trying to like multitask and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and do some work, but it's not like I'm gonna sit down and do this one task until it's complete then you're doing multiple things and all of a sudden you're distracted but you're still doing stuff and then it goes back to being busy and not effective.